Howdy folks, Jim Gem here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Fishing Barents Sea. Now this came out on Steam yesterday. Uh, it's down for £15.29. It's 10% off till the 14th of February. So what we'll do, I mean, I've already got a profile already set up, but I think I'll just go through the tutorial with you guys to show you what's what. And to be what, why don't we call him Sig? There we go, Sig Hansen from The Deadliest Catch. And we'll go with the mail, we'll start with the tutorial, just to go through the tutorial. Basically what you do, you start off with, welcome to the Barents Sea, you begin your career with a sturdy little wooden ship, wooden fishing boat, that you have inherited from your grandfather. With such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to becoming one of the legendary mariners of the Barents Sea. But let us not get distracted with dreams of fortune and glory. Let's start with the basics. And the basics... Let me just turn... Volume down a little bit. Music. And music's not bad, but let's turn it down a little bit. Okay. So try to increase or decrease throttle with the W and S. So W and S is... Speed up, slow down, control the rudder with A and D, and when you're ready, press V to switch from first person mode. This will allow you to move around the deck. So here we are. This is a little boat that you inherited from your grandfather. I mean, it's not a bad looking game. It's done on the Unreal 4 engine, but I do think the bloom is pretty high on it in some um, circumstances the sun very very bright sometimes I and mean, if you look at the graphics I've got everything set to epic I mean I suppose I could turn the gamma and brightness to ah, bloom let's turn that bloom down a little bit see if that makes any difference yeah looks a little bit better I think okay so press V switch to first person in first person mode you can also move around the ship with WASD keys. Or should I say you can move the ship around with WASD keys. You can interact with some objects on the boat with the E key. Try moving around the boat and then when you are ready open the door by pressing E then walk to the chair in the wheelhouse and press E again to interact with it. Okay, so you can walk around. As you see it's a little, I mean you can actually drive it from here as well. W, A, S and D. You press F, stops driving. You went to the wheelhouse. You've got a little section here as well. Don't know what that hammer's for. And there's a picture of the boat there as well. Let's go back up here. Click on the chair. Once you're sitting in the chair, you can also drive the boat in first person mode using the same control as in third person mode. Press F to exit the chair and walk around. Press V to return to third person mode. In third person mode, drive toward the long line that's been set nearby. I prefer third person. You can see a lot better. All right, what's this long line? Let's have a look. So it's sit down here. I need to turn around. Okay, that big green circle there. And on the little ship, uh, the little boat, like this one, you have to pick it up from the starboard side, which is this right hand side here. As you see, there's the winch. So I just cut my speed a little bit. Here we go. In order to haul in the long line, you need to position the boat such that both of the buoys or buoys are starboard to the right hand side of the boat and at least one of the buoys is in within a few meters of the line hauler so that's a line hauler i just call it a winch 
A semicircular region will be highlighted green when one of the buoys is positioned close enough to the line holder. An arrow will point to the other buoy and will also be highlighted green once this buoy is starboard. All in the long line using the pickup gear button in the bottom left or by pressing E. So basically, oh, just gone past it a little bit. You want it on the starboard side, just drive up to it. I don't know if you can do it fast. I've always just slowed down when I've um, come up to it. As you see, you've got this big semicircle here. You want to get this little buoy inside here. And press E. There we go. Would you like to haul in the long line? Okay. When hauling in a long line, you have to time your mouse click when you collect each fish. The smaller the circle is, the better you perform and the better you haul will be, as indicated by the bonus percentage indicator. Red pissed, yellow okay, green good, medium, blue perfect, best result. Uh, some of these mini games are a bit, eh. Not that keen on them, but I mean, once you get up to the bigger boats, you get your own um, crew and you don't have to do all this kind of stuff. Okay, so what did I catch? Got 12 Pollock, 130 kilos, 14 Haddock, 99 kilos, and 4 Redfish. Okay, now this is another little uh, sort of mini game. Now you need to cut the fish. Once you press start, you need to move the mouse from left to right in a continuous motion. Try to keep the knife over the blue dots to maximize and to maximize the gutting quality of the fish. This could be a bit hit and miss this. I mean, I suppose where it goes up and down, you see these big blue dots here. I think that's to sort of represent the bobbing and up and down of the ship, the boat. Because the, the knife tends to pull towards them. And it can be quite awkward. I mean, I've got a gaming mouse and my DPI is set pretty high, but I'm having to scroll right across my whole mouse mat just to do this. Okay. Tutorial mission part seven. Good job collecting the first long line. A mission waypoint has been set on your map. Do another long line that has been out for a number of hours already. Hurry to hold in, in this line before too much time passes. A long line must be picked up 48 hours before 48 hours have elapsed or else the line will be lost. The color of the buoys on the minimap indicate the amount of time they have been out. Blue not ready to be picked up. Green ready to be picked up for the best results. Yellow starts to degrade and red soon lost little result let's have a look it's kind of on orangey red 16 hours it's been out for so let's have a look around looks like it's over this way okay as you see w is your speed of the boat here W and S slows it down, speeds it up. Got a radio here to call for help if you ever run out of fuel, which I nearly did once. I got down to seven liters of fuel, I think it was. There's your speed, that's your fuel, and that's the integrity of your hull if you get any damage. Also, as well, here you've got interior lights, turn them on and off. your working lights, your search lights, but you move that around with Q and E. You see it moving around the top that. There you go, that's it on. There's a Q and E, moves the search lights around. And you've got running lights, which are these little lights on the sides. There's your GPS, that's what it's on now. And you can just scroll backwards and forwards. Oh, better turn around. It's up this way. That's your sonar to find the fish. That's your storage. Tells you what you've already got on your hold. Your line info. It's been out for 16 hours, 26 minutes. And then you've got the weather. Okay. Back to the GPS. 
The line should be just up here. So we'll go pick this one up. As I said, I've already got another profile um, and another thing up here. If you look, you've got to travel 35 kilometers to unlock the next certificate for the next boat. And that means no fast travel. You've got to actually run 35 kilometers on the boat. And it just, it does take a little while to do. As I say, I mean, I've played, oh, I don't know, five, six hours. I've unlocked the second boat. Okay, let's get the speed down a little bit. Turn around, get on the right hand side, starboard side. There's a semicircle coming up now. Get the buoy in the semicircle. There we go, green. Hit E. Oh. I think I've gone past it too far. We have to get a little bit closer. It's got to be more closer to the, the winch. Slow down. There we go. That should be okay. There we go. Green. Pull it in. And here we go with this lovely little game. Little sort of quick time event. Oh, good. I was doing pretty well on this yesterday. I was getting perfect quite a lot of the time. There we go. Perfect. You want the blue circle to be as small as possible. Oh, that was only a good. There we go. Perfect. 25%. One more. And another perfect. Okay, 56, 57 Pollock, 634 kilos, 81 Haddock, 564 kilos, Redfish, 1834 kilos. Okay, let's got these. Even do a bit better this time. Yeah, this, I'm not that keen on this little game to be honest. The big fish are kind of easier to do. Big red fish. There we go. Okay, congratulations on holding in your second long line. This is the map interface. You can now open this using the full screen button on the minimap in the bottom right, or by pressing the M key. Using the buttons below, you can set custom waypoints to locations that you previously visited and then fast travel to these locations. The area of the map that is exposed depends on the boat's radar. You should consider upgrading it if you want to fast travel. The locations are farther away. Head to Hammerfest Port, where you'll be able to sell the fish you've just collected. A mission waypoint has been set on your map. You can either drive to the port yourself, or if you want, you can set a custom waypoint and fast travel there. Okay, there's Hammerfest up here. And since I'm just showing the tutorial, like I said, to unlock your other boats. Oh, let's get into V to unlock the other boats. You have to travel 35 kilometers to do that, but I've already done that. I've already got another profile going. So I will set a waypoint over to Hammerfest. So you just click on place waypoint. Now another thing as well, it's not too bad coming into the port, but as you come out of this little port here, sometimes you get obstructed by little bit of these little little harbor walls here once you put your waypoints in hit this yellow icon here and the boat will fast travel for you okay now what you want to do is get inside this purpley blue rectangle here and offload the fish Oh, 
the searchlight going. Gauge drop the speed down. Mission complete. Congratulations on reaching Hammerfest to sell your fish. You should dock at Hammerfest by entering the rectangular port zone and clicking the dock port dock at port button on the right. After you're done, you might consider setting some <coughs> excuse me long lines of your own. Good luck. Rewards: ten thousand krona. So, would you like to dock at port? We'll click. Don't show this again, and we'll click yes. So there we go. Pollock, 764 kilos. We got 8,580 uh, krona. 9,000 krona for the haddock. And 3,000 krona for the redfish. So we'll sell that. Oh, gonna hit the wall. Okay, there we go. So a total of 16,952.85 krona. And this tells you up here as well. Uh, there's your weight. 3.6. There's 25 krona for 3.6 kilos. So I got 70, 761 kilos. So I got 5,663 krona for that. Um, on the haddock. I had 664 kilos, so 8,000 for that. And the redfish, you get quite a bit of money for the redfish. So I had 167 kilos of the uh, redfish, and I got 2,763 krona for that. And there it goes, it gives you your price per kilo as well. And plus, after you've gutted it, plus 32% after you've gutted them. Okay. Well, we might as well do this since this is a tutorial. Okay, setting up setting tutorial part one. You also need to learn how to set a long line. First, you should go to the fish market to bait one of your long lines. Click the fish market button in the bottom right, then select the buy bait button that appears in the top left. Another good thing you can do here as well, if you look at the map and you go all species, you've got all these little hot spots about. Uh, there's no cod around here, the cod is more out here in the open area. But you've got pollock, haddock, and redfish. And they're not very good hot spots. So haddock looks at the best at the moment. Or pollock, let me see. I think we'll go for the haddock. And what you can do here is come up to the wiki. And if you go to I think it's this one here. Shrimp, 20% Pollock, 60%. This is your catch probabilities. So shrimp's good for Cod and Pollock. 30% for Pollock on Crab. Redfish, 60% on Krill. Pollock's not very good, it's only 15%. Oh, there we go. We'll go for this one, I think, the macro, which is 55% probability for Pollock. So we'll bait up with some macro, I think. So you go to the fish market. There's your fish prices. What you get per kilo. Go here. We've got four unbaited lines. <coughs> Excuse me. It's telling me you put shrimp on. But we're going to go for Pollock. And that was macro. So I'm going to do two lines of mackerel. That should be good enough, but I'm going to take one shrimp as well because that is actually in the tutorial. Okay, there's the shrimp. Okay, now you can go fishing. Exit the port by clicking the go fishing button in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, let's go fishing. You need to drive outside the docking area before you are able to fast travel. Drive away from the docking area. As I said before, this big purplish blue zone, you've got to get outside of here before you can get any waypoints. And 
here we go. Open the map. So you find a good spot to set your line. Use the full screen button on the mini map in the bottom right. Press M. So you press M. So there's a mission waypoint here. In order to see the current fish population, you select fish population, then all species in the top left. Okay, so we're going to go here. And um, since I've already got another profile here, I'm not going to take my time because it'll probably take about 20 minutes to drive out there. So we're actually going to set a waypoint. Waypoint out to there. And just drive into the circle. Yeah, this top box here, that's all your gear. There's all your lights and that's your inventory. So we'll drive over to this waypoint. We'll set out the shrimp because that's for the tutorial. Drop the speed down a little touch. As I said before, I'm not sure if you can do it fast or you do it slower. I think you might damage your line if you go too fast. Okay, time to set your first long line. Set a long line by using the set line button in the gear menu in the lower left corner, which is here. So we want to lay down the shrimp. And there we go. Throws out the first buoy. <coughs> Excuse me. And you just keep driving until the second buoy comes out. Okay. Now that you have set your first long line, you need to wait a minimum of four hours before you can pick it up. For the purpose of this tutorial, the time will now be skipped forward 20 hours. 20 hours is the optimum time a long line should stay in the sea. You can see this by looking at the outline color of the buoy on the map. The best time to pick up the line for the best yield is when the outline is blue. See the wiki for more details hauling the long line. Okay, as you see, the Put the time forward, 20 hours, the line has been baited for. So we just turn around and we'll pick this up. And what I'll do when I pick this up, I'll drop another one of the, the lines somewhere else and we'll see what we get from that. This is shrimp on this one. Again, come around to the right hand side, keep it on the starboard side. You want it to turn green. Once it's in that semicircle, green, yellow, near enough. Okay, and here we go. This little mini game again. Two of nine. Three of nine. It does vary how many you get on the line, depending on the hot spots and how long you leave it out for. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, eight of nine. One more to go. We'll get them cutted. Oops, that's a bad one. That was okay. Okay, 69 Pollock, 78 Haddock, and 20 Redfish. Get this gutted. Oh, that's a dodgy one. Only three stars. There we go, five out of five. Okay, let's exit that. Now you can deliver your catch to Hammerfest to complete this tutorial. Okay, let's see how much we've got in here. We've got 1,568 kilos free and we've got 1,432 kilos of fish on board. So, we'll have a look at the, is it Haddock? Yep. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drive up to here, I think. Get a waypoint up to that, drive up to that, and we'll drop another line. Want to be sort of in the center here. 
I'm only going to drop one. No, man, I'll drop two. What we'll do is we'll head back, sell the fish. And you can skip time. I'll put it forward to about 15, 16 hours. Come out, pick these two up, see what we get off them. And that will be the end of the sort of tutorial video I'm going to do. Next video I'll do, I'll probably jump back onto my my other profile, which I have unlocked the next bigger boat. Okay, let's turn this round. And we'll just drop it up here a little bit. Still in this hot spot. Drop the speed a little bit. And we'll drop that one now. Now you get a better yield if they're not so close to each other. I think it's a hundred hundred feet away from hundred yards, hundred meters maybe I think it is. Okay, that's that one dropped. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into the map. We're gonna set another waypoint. Back into Hammerfest. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're gonna sell these fish. We're gonna forward the time. And we can jump out and get those other two lines in. Let's just turn it around here. Drop the speed. A quick turn. And there we go, 15,000 krona reward. Congratulations on returning to Hammerfest again. To sell your fish, you should dock at Hammerfest by entering a rectangular port zone and clicking on dock port. Yeah, we've already done that. Now, because I said, do not show again uh, the message, the little docking icon comes up here on the, the, the right hand side. So once you're in sort of the right position, drop the speed, hit the docking icon, and there we go. And here it goes, it tells you down here. In this section of the logbook, you can see all the deliveries and sales you've made at the port. Note that fish should be delivered before they're 8 days old, otherwise they'll start rotting and the price you receive for them will decrease significantly. On some boats, you can purchase a freezer to prevent fish from rotting. So we're up to 15,847 krona now. As you see. But 6,400 for the Pollock, 6,900 for the Haddock. 2300 for the redfish again if you look at the price in kilos price per kilo of the redfish they're probably the best ones to get but you need to find their hot spots as again look that's i've only done 1.7 kilometers <coughs> that's because i've been using fast travel and it tells you here as well total haul on this one was 262 kilos that was with shrimp this one here i haven't hold this one in yet that's the two that are out there's this one and that one and that's the one we just done there the shrimp uh jobs as well what i did events um is tells you the seasons some of the demand for haddock is significantly lower prices are down by 40 percent macro breeding the macro population is booming at the moment Go trolling and in August addict season has just started and we're in the summer at the moment ah jobs right this was just the tutorial job so they've been done what I did go to the map is I unlocked this one unlocked this one uh, traveled all the way up here to unlock that must have took about an hour just to drive all the way up there just to try and get to the 35 kilometers that I needed to unlock the second boat. And what I did, I managed to get a job from up there. It asked me to, to deliver a load of Pollock back down to Hammerfest. And sometimes when you do these jobs, you can't fast travel. So I had to just drive all the way back down here. I come around and I unlock this one. The only one I haven't unlocked is this one up here. And I imagine this is where you're gonna get your cod all around here into the open waters. Okay, and you hit the dock button again. You can buy fuel. You can repair your hull. 
or you can repaint the boat. Upgrades, I wouldn't bother paying for upgrades on this first little boat. You just want to get out, drive about, get to the next boat, which is this one here, the Syarkin. You need to travel another 33 kilometers before I can purchase this boat. And what I did as well, <coughs> is I had to go to the town, because I didn't have enough money. And I actually borrowed money from the bank. I think I went for the middle one, 150,000, because I made quite a bit doing a lot of a lot of the fishing. I did a couple of jobs, made some more money doing it that way. I think I only needed 150,000 to get my second boat. So let me have a look at the map, see how long these have been out for. Two hours, they reckon 18 hours. So we'll put this forward, say 15 hours, I reckon. So you go to the little clock here. I see you can skip 24 hours or you can skip one week but you've got a little slider here so put this to 15 hours we'll skip 15 hours and we'll head out do some fishing and go and pick up these two lines and then that should be the end of this video i mean it's not a bad little game. I'm quite enjoying it. It's pretty relaxing. It's just a nice little game to sit for a couple of hours. You've not got much to do. You just want to relax. Have a little bit of fun. Yeah, it's not bad. I quite like it. I'm enjoying it. The next boat um, is pretty good. I'll probably do a video on that as well. So let's get out here. Check the map. How long it's been out for? 16 hours. Now this will probably take about 20 minutes to drive all the way out here, so don't want to do that in the video. So what I'll do, I'll set another waypoint. Don't forget guys, if you want to unlock the other boats, you're gonna have to drive and not use fast travel. And another thing with fast travel as well, it uses 50% more fuel. So it's gonna cost you more on fuel as well. Okay, let's get these picked up. Uh, these have been out for 18 hours they're in the green not quite optimum yield it should be in the blue but they'll do for the purpose of the video just to sort of give you an idea again pick them up on the right hand side on the starboard side oops slow down slow down there we go there we go Let's hold these in. How many have we got on this time? Probably about seven, yep. Perfect. Oh, that wasn't bad. I should have hit that sooner. I was doing a lot better with this earlier. Oh, that's a bad one. I think it's easier as well. The little cursor, the little dot, if you get that in the center, and hit the, the the button as soon as the circle turns really small. It's quite hard to see though. Ah, there we go. That's a better one. <coughs> okay, 67 Pollock, 46 Haddock, and 7 Redfish. Okay, let's cut these. Let's get this done. Yeah, this needs a bit of tinkering, I think. You need to do something with this. A lot of people are not going to like these little quick time games. But as I said, you only really need to do them for the this sort of first and second boat. As you can um, hit V, get back into the pilot seat or the captain's seat. And once you start unlocking your other boat, you actually hire a crew and they can do it for you. But they're very, very slow. What I started doing, because you actually uh, level your crew up as you use them. Is I would probably do about three quarters of the gutting um, while I'm driving back to the port I'd stick the, my crew member on the gutting and usually by the time we get back to the port he's finished because they are very very slow I mean you're only gutting five maybe five maybe five fish but he's there for ages I think he guts every bloody single fish okay green hit E let's hold this one in what did we get here? Only five, so that's not a very good yield. 
but it's just the purpose for the tutorial video. I'll let you guys see how it works. I would have left them out a bit longer. I wouldn't have picked them up until they sort of hit blue. Oh, that was a perfect. Why is it only 13%? If it's a perfect, shouldn't it be like closer to 100%? Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, that was a bad one. There we go. Five out of five. Okay, 51 Pollock, 36 Haddock, and five Redfish. Let's gut these. Okay, just one more. Ooh, thought I had that. Oh yeah. Okay, that's that done. Now, do I have another one out? No, nope, that's all of them done. So, again, I'm not going to drive back to port because it just takes way too long. I'm going to set a couple of waypoints and travel back. And we'll see what we get for these. Hit V, get back in. Oh. Just dock and sell these fish. You will get for it. As you see, your money does go up quite a bit. It's up to 74,000 kroner now. But the job I did from way up in that, um, <coughs> uh, the top left hand um, port, I had to bring a load of pollock down here for some guy. I got quite, got paid quite a lot for that. It was quite a good one, quite a good job. But as I said, um, on some of the jobs, you can't fast travel. Okay, what do we get? We've got 14,000 krona for the Pollock, 8,000 for the Haddock, and 1,000 for the Redfish. That puts us up to 93,000. That's not too bad. Again, if you look at the Redfish, 15.5 krona per kilo, plus 24% if it's gutted, 10.36 krona for the Haddock. Plus 13% if that's gutted, and only 8.6 krona for the Pollock. So that's still not bad. We've got a total of 19,314 for that hole. Okay, shall dock. So there you go, guys. That's fishing, Barents Sea. That's a tutorial done, and a couple of other little lines that I put out and picked up just to show you how it works without the tutorial messages all over the place. Not a bad game, as I said, nice and relaxing. Yeah, it could. I think the little quick time events could need a little bit of work on it, but again, you're not actually doing them that long because it didn't actually take me that long to unlock the next boat. And the next video I'll do will be on the next boat, which is... Let me have a look. Um... Where is it? Have a look here. Ah, here we go. Ah, that's the next boat here. This is the boat you're using now. Only 24 foot long, 2,500 kilos. No additional crew, so you're playing it on your own. I not actually tell you how much you can carry within it, but mind you, you buy upgrades, your storage gets a lot bigger. And if you look at this one, it's 34 foot long, weighs 6,500 kilos, it's 450,000 krona to buy. And max lines, eight. Well, when I used it, I didn't bother with the lines. I'll show you in the next video. Um, you can actually use nets and you, you get a bigger yield using the nets. So there we go. That's the tutorial done, out of the way. So don't forget guys, if you like this content, hit that like button and I will catch you again. I'll probably do another couple of videos on fishing the Barents Sea.